Let's bring in David Barnson, who normally covers the markets for us and will cover the markets for us today. But first, I want to know why you are not a fan of J.D. Vance, why you think he could cost Trump the election. Tell us more. I think that there is a sense in which he is an incredibly impressive person. His biography, that book, Hillbilly Elegy, is one of my favorite books of the last 20 years. But, Stuart, he does represent a little bit more of an FDR Republican, which is ironic. He likes certain New Deal programs, government intervention, industrial policy. He, he's talked about not being a big fan of some of the business tax cuts and so forth. Um, look, he, you're right. Politically, he is populist. I'm a Reaganite conservative, and I really do favor more limited government. There are certain advantages J.D. Vance has. I've met him on a number of occasions. He's incredibly intelligent. But I do think he represents a shift into something more governmental about how to solve some of these problems. And I'm not sure that that's the right message around the conservative ethos. Okay. I'm looking at the Dow Industrials having the best day since late May. And a lot of the gain, I understand, is from uh, United Health, one of the 30 Dow stocks. Yeah. Would you say that this is in any way a Trump rally? Well, look, the S&P is down and the uh, Dow is up from almost just one stock. So I don't think this is a Trump rally, but I think that there has been um, a certain pricing over the last several weeks as Trump has looked better and better. I think his electoral odds are very good right now. I don't think this election's over. I think any Republican taking it for granted is making a mistake, but it's advantage Trump, no question. But there's three and a half months to go. Stuart, markets can't price it in. It's a 50-50 country. You have the Senate up for grabs, the House up for grabs. It's very hard to sustain a rally predicting an election four months in advance. David, you always bring us your dividend picks, and I want you to start with Johnson & Johnson. What's so good about them? I wanted to be as boring as could be today, Stuart. There's too much excitement in the political world. My market prediction today, J&J, &J, one of the stalwart dividend growers of all time. We've owned it almost 25 years that I've been managing money. They have grown the dividend every year since World War II, and this stock is undervalued, low multiple, high-quality management. It's just a staple everyone should own. Real fast, tell us again about Verizon. I know you've recommended it before. It does six and a half percent dividend yield. The dividend is fully covered by free cash flow. It's safe. They haven't grown the dividend a ton, but they've been growing it every year. And they are the winner in 5G. No question. They've made that big investment. Verizon, six and a half percent yield. Six and a half percent yield attracts me big time. David, thanks for joining us. See you again real soon.